The TI-30XA calculator has a memory storage feature that lets you save the result of a calculation for later use. This tutorial will show you how to store, recall, and clear this memory. The two buttons that are used for this feature are the STO button for store and the RCL button for recall. There are actually three separate memory storage registers called M1, M2, and M3. Any number stored in these memory locations is saved even if the calculator is turned off. Let's store the value 7 in M1. Press 7 and then store and the 1 key. The value is now stored in memory location M1 and the calculator shows M1 at the top of the display to indicate this. Let's store the value 11 in M2. Press 1 and 1 again, then press store and the 2 key. The value is now stored and the calculator displays M2 at the top of the screen. You can probably guess how to store the number 13 in M3. Press 1 and 3, then store and the 3 key. M3 is displayed. Turn the calculator off and back on again. You see that M1, M2, and M3 are still displayed at the top of the screen, indicating that our numbers are still being stored. Let's use the numbers in memory for a fun mathematics trick. Choose any three-digit number and press those three digit keys, then immediately press the same three digits again so that the number is repeated on the display. I'll use 472 for this example, so I would enter 472472. We want to divide this number by 7, the value in M1. Press divide, then recall, and the 1 key. The number 7 should be displayed. Now press equals to complete this operation. Somewhat surprisingly, 7 divides my number a whole number of times without a remainder and gives us 67496. Now divide that result by 11, which is in M2. With 67496 still on the screen, press divide, then recall, and the 2 key. The stored number 11 is displayed. Press equals to complete this binary operation. Again, surprisingly, the answer is a whole number after division by 11. The calculator should display 6136. Divide this result by 13 now. Press divide, recall, and the 3 key, followed by equals. Our original three-digit number is the final result. This trick works for any three-digit number, and it is because the product of 7, 11, and 13 is 1001, which, when multiplied by a three-digit number, results in those three digits followed by the same three digits. Now we should probably clear out the memory. If you were to store another number in any of the locations, it would be okay. The new number would replace the old number automatically. But we would like to remove the indicators M1, M2, and M3 at the top of the screen. To do this, simply press the On Clear button to display zero. Now, store this zero in each of the memory locations. Press Store and the 1 key. The M1 indicator should have disappeared. Press Store and the 2 key, and then Store and the 3 key. All three memory indicators should now be gone. So, to conclude, the memory storage feature of this calculator lets us store three numbers for later use, and they can even be saved when the calculator is turned off.